Where did the time go? January went by fast. Welcome to February. Have we taken action the way we said we were going to with our New Year's resolutions? February, the second month of the year. We have the principle of belief. Do we believe that we will actually accomplish something? Or are we just going to go along to get along? Let's do our best to make spiritual progress. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Taking action, February 15th. Are these extravagant promises? We think not. They are being fulfilled among us, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. They will always materialize if we work for them. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. One of the most important things an Alcoholics Anonymous has given me, in addition to freedom from booze, is the ability to take right action. It says the promises will always materialize if I work for them. Fantasizing about them, debating them, preaching about them, and faking them just won't work. I'll remain a miserable, rationalizing, dry drunk. By taking action and working the 12 steps in all my affairs, I'll have a life beyond my wildest dreams. One of the key principles of Alcoholics Anonymous is to do the next right thing. This means that in order to see the promises of recovery and a life free from alcohol realized, it is essential to take concrete steps towards that goal. Changing our mindset from always thinking about ourselves, we become other-centered. We accomplish this unselfishness by finding a higher power, cleaning our side of the street by doing steps four and five, along with the rest of the steps where God removes our defects of character. Other benefits because we are no longer hurting everyone around us, and we benefit because our higher power has taken away the daily struggle. It's taken it off our shoulders. We love helping others. We didn't think it was possible to not take a drink. We didn't think it was possible to not think of ourselves before everyone else. Once we did try it, we liked it and wanted more of it. Now we get the concept of Santa Claus. It is through taking action and working the 12 steps in all aspects of our lives that the true transformation occurs. The steps provide a structured program for recovery and growth, which include acknowledging one's powerlessness over alcohol and one's need for a higher power, taking a moral inventory, admitting wrongs, and making amends. Twelve steps encourage us to maintain our sobriety through ongoing spiritual growth. Seeking guidance from a higher power and helping others is the key. Participating in AA meetings, we connect with others who have gone through similar experiences and find support, encouragement, and accountability. Taking action, February 15th. Are these extravagant promises? We think not. They are being fulfilled among us, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. They will always materialize if we work for them. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. One of the most important things an Alcoholics Anonymous has given me, in addition to freedom from booze, is the ability to take right action. It says the promises will always materialize if I work for them fantasizing about them, debating them, preaching about them, and faking them just won't work. I'll remain a miserable, rationalizing, dry drunk. By taking action and working the 12 steps in all my affairs, I'll have a life beyond my wildest dreams. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.